God says it's because of Abraham's lamb. This represents my lamb. And after a while, you're going to get it. You say, well, Brother Porter, why do you have to keep preaching this stuff that you're preaching? Because after a while, somebody's going to get it. It was a picture of what God wanted to do. Let me read this. <laughs> Repentance from a sinful life. Look at Colossians 1. Let's read this. I preach y'all. I, I, I appreciate y'all listening to me tonight. Because if I go home with this stuff, I'll preach it to Jeanette all night. Let me read these two scriptures. People say, well, I've accepted Jesus. What else do I need to do? Obey him. Get in the word and obey him. You know, I see people that blame God and blame everybody else for the mess they in when they got their self in it. How many know if I went out here tonight and I robbed a bank that if I really repented next week that God would forgive me? How many believe that? If I confess my sins and I repent of it. But what's going to happen to me? Consequences. You ever heard that word? Consequences of my action. Well, what's going to be the consequences? <laughs> I'm going to be punished. Anybody with me? Good preaching. Let me read this. We'll go. Colossians 1, and I got one other one to read. 1, 9 through 14. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. How many know it's our responsibility to pray for people to get saved? And desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. The knowledge of what? Whose will? His will. That you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Not, 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 not human reasoning, but spiritual understanding. That you might walk, that you might walk, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Unto pleasing who? Pleasing him, right? Being fruitful in every evil work. Does it say that? No. Being fruitful in every good work and increasing. What? Increasing in the knowledge of God. My Lord Jesus. Strengthened with all might. How do you get strength? <laughs> you, you get spiritual understanding. You begin to walk in the things of the Lord unto his pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of the Lord. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power. Hallelujah. Unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness. You're going to be attacked. You're going to be attacked. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be, God don't tempt you, God only tests us. But you're going to be tempted and you're going to be attacked. But you're going to have patience and you're going to have the fruit of long suffering to get through it. Glory to God. And God's going to manifest the anointing in your life in a measure you've never sensed before. With joyfulness. Everybody say with joyfulness. Giving thanks unto the Father which have made us to be meet, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints and light who have delivered us. I want you to get this. Who have delivered us from the power of darkness. God, is that victory? <laughs> from the power of darkness. The darkness that used to control us in our life doesn't control us anymore. 
He hath translated us into the kingdom, what? Of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness, what? Sin. Let's look at 1 Thessalonians 5. I mean, 1 Thessalonians 2. We'll go on this one. Has this helped anybody tonight? You know, we can get to the place, well, everybody else is compromising. We'll just compromise. No. Look at something I say, never. If I, if I even think of that, God, remove it from my mind. You can love people and give them the word How many of you give your kids and your grandkids and your, your brothers and sisters, you give them the word because you, you're concerned about it? And you do it until they just say, shut up. I don't want to hear it no more. But you shut up telling them, but you don't shut up praying.